Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in Runway ML or Runway Machine Learning. I'm gonna show you how to blur a background, create depth of field, create that background blur that so often used inside film, especially in cinema, and we're doing it for video. This is not an image, this is a video. Let me hit spacebar and show you what I got and then I'll show you how we do it. So there we go, we've got this uh, lady here I selected for scientific reasons. Um, and we've got a nice blurry background, and if we look at the original shot, if I go to the original shot, here it is. The background is not blurred like this. I actually blurred it, and then you'll see here as I go that she still remains in focus, as you can see with the lines around her, and it's done a pretty good job, and yet the background is completely blurred, and this is all done for free using Runway ML. So let's just go back to projects here, and let's show you exactly, let's go from scratch. I'm gonna show you how to do this from the beginning. RunwayML.com, here we go. First step, login. If you don't have a login, sign up. It is free. Um, there are some paid options in here, but what we're doing is free. So you just signed up, we're in. Now we're gonna go to create, we're actually gonna go to AI Magic Tools. Click on this here. And when you do that, you get a whole bunch of stuff. I've done a few uh, videos on a few of these ones, but the one we wanna look at today is down here a little further, and in particular, it's this one, Blur Background. All right, click on that, and presto, you're gonna load up this screen. Now, you can do a few things from this position. You can actually use your either the assets that are already uploaded by the project, so you can use their default assets, or you can upload your own stuff. So I've got them going to my Finder. I'm gonna grab this video here. This is just some stock video of a lady walking. Again, scientific reasons. And then presto, it just dragged it and dropped it in. It uploads it, and there she be. Now I'm just going to click on it. And then on the right side, I'm going to click on Add to Timeline. That's it. All right, here we go. Now we've got our little time, <coughs> excuse me, our little editor, our timeline. But you're also going to see here that we've got our playhead here. So I'm going to move it to the beginning. Up at the top right, you'll see here it says share and blur background. And in particular, a little further down, it says click on area to start masking. So I'm actually going to click on her. And presto, it's going to slowly figure out that bang, this is what we want and it has done a pretty good job. That said, it's currently set to include. So we could do that or we could set it to exclude. Let's go ahead and set it to exclude because we don't want her to be blurred. We want everything else to be blurred. So we've clicked it over to exclude. And for this particular one, we're not going to feather it too much. I'm gonna put a feather of one pixel on this because I don't want a very hard edge, but I don't want a soft edge because it looks kind of glowy. So there we go. We're gonna go with that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just click on that button that says blur background. Now, when I do that, it's gonna go ahead and run a few calculations. And then over here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on preview. So let's go ahead and, well, no, we don't have to click on preview. Already done. Okay, good. So now we've got the masked lady and we've got the blurred background underneath it. Now what we want to do is for this blurred background, we can click on either one. I'm going to click on the blurred background um, on the timeline and then watch this. When I increase the Gaussian blur, it blurs the background, but the lady or the subject remains in focus. Now, if you go really, really, really blurred, if you look really hard, you will see a little bit of a glow around the edge. And at the moment, that's kind of just par for the course. Uh, we did only have a feather of one pixel. You can try to re drop it down to zero pixels. But again, it is what it is. But there we go. Let's go with something like a blur of 30. And then all I need to do to run this is I just click on export. And again, it's free. I just click on export video and then I will show you what we got. All right, it's already done. It was pretty quick. Then it's already saved in the assets over here. And then it should be right here. So let's see, is it done? It is not done. It is exporting it. So I will come back when it's done and I'll show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So here it is, it's done. It's only a five second video. And if I hit spacebar, you'll see here that the background is blurred and the subject is in focus. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching.